Yeah, the whole medicine was, uh, I would say it was amazing. The speaking was the easiest. I found your templates very helpful. You don't really have a lot of time to read through the content. Going to the questions and then reading only that part of the uh, paragraph, uh, that helps me. I hope that um, a lot of people get the chance to study from your channel. Like how it helped me, it should help a lot of other students as well. Hi guys, welcome back to TOEFL with Yuva. Today I talk to Vishal. Vishal just took the TOEFL home edition and he's going to talk about his experience. Hi Vishal, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm great. How are you, Yuva? I'm well too, thank you. Vishal, thank you so much for coming. Many TOEFL students wonder what taking the TOEFL home edition is like and how they can prepare for the test. So it's really great that you want to tell us how it was for you. First, tell us a bit about yourself. What are you doing and where are you from? Okay, so first off, uh, thank you, Eva, for having me on your channel. Um, I'm from India. Currently, I am working as a software engineer. So, yeah, that's it. That's what I'm doing currently. Yeah. Amazing. Vishal, why did you take the TOEFL? Um, I've been working now in the R&D sector for uh, about two years. So, I thought that I should move towards research. So basically, I wanted to apply to the universities in the US, and most of the universities require the TOEFL test. So that's why I took the test. So you need the TOEFL test for your applications to the universities in the US. Exactly. You took the TOEFL home edition. What was your experience like? Yeah, the home edition was, uh, I would say it was amazing. Um, because I was at my home, uh, the atmosphere was familiar, so I was less nervous. And um, it was quite convenient as well. So I didn't have to travel because of all the restrictions that we have now. So um, I took the test from the comfort of my home. So that was really amazing. There are many technical requirements people have to satisfy before they take the test at home. How did you make sure that you fulfill all those requirements? So yes, uh, before I took the test, I went to the ProfileU equipment test website and then um, I ran the, that equipment check a um, couple of times before I took the test, um, and I ran it at the same time when I was uh, going to take the test. So I had to do the test during the uh, 11 a.m. in the morning time. So um, I made sure that I, the internet connectivity and all other things like the background noise uh, were not interfering with the test. So um, I, that's what how uh, I prepared for this. How did you communicate with your proctor during the test? Um, initially, when I started, so um, the proctor pinged me on the uh, chat box, then she connected with me directly, so she started speaking. So the first thing that she asked is, how was I doing on the test day? So uh, that, quite relaxed. that was quite relaxing. Uh, and then we had a little bit of discussion. She said, uh, she told me about the instructions that I had to follow. And then uh, she asked me to read um, certain instructions aloud. So then she said, okay, you're ready to go. She asked me to you know, uh, uh, do the check-in process. So she uh, asked me to check, uh, show the room. And then, yeah, that's how it was quite uh, smooth in acting with the proctor. I didn't face any issues like I didn't share the proctor or anything. So it was quite smooth. Lisa, many people have asked me how people who take the test at home manage to erase their notes because you don't have much time during the sections and this can be a bit stressful. So how did you manage to erase your notes? Yeah, it's uh, perfectly correct to say that it was a little bit difficult to manage the erasing of the notes. So what I did is I felt that um, the transparency sheet couldn't help because I wanted something, um, you know, something that I would be able to hold and then erase it without any uh, issues. Like the transparency sheet, you know, it would bend, so it would be difficult erasing. So I had a whiteboard with me, and in the listening test, as you said, um, the questions just keep on coming. So you have to be really quick uh, and practice well. The, uh, you can practice the listening section. So when you're practicing, you should practice writing the notes and then erasing the notes uh, while you are taking the uh, you know, practice sections like mock and all. So it, I would say uh, you need to 
design yourself. Yeah. That's the thing. It is challenging. Um, I heard that uh, in the test center, you get a paper, so it wouldn't be that much of an issue with it if I would have taken it as a test center. But with a whiteboard, yeah, of course, it was uh, a bit stressful. But I think that's excellent advice because if you practice before, you put yourself in the situation that you will find on test day and you also know how much time you need in order to erase your notes. So thank you so much. Yeah. Excellent advice. Vishal, you got a very high TOEFL score. Congratulations. That's amazing. How did you prepare to get such a high score? Uh, so basically, again, uh, with the sections, with the different sections, I had a good idea of where I was, uh, where I was comfortable and which sections I lack in. So uh, I understood that my speaking was not that good because, uh, you know, I'm not that kind of a talkative person. So with the time frame that I had to form my response, it was a little bit uh, not easy for me. So uh, there uh, I found your templates very helpful. So uh, thanks to you again, I was able to you know, prepare, get my thoughts arranged uh, within the time and then form my response. So with the other sections, like the reading section, you don't really have a lot of time to read through the content. So uh, I would say that it would be best to read the question directly because the question specifically says which paragraph you need to focus on. So yeah, that helps in the reading section. Um, in the writing section, again, uh, again, uh, your advice in the videos, you try to find out something, uh, something from your own experience and try to relate it to the question that is being asked so that you can form an essay quite easily. So that's how, uh, that's how I managed to score that. Amazing. I'm so glad the videos were helpful to you. Was there a task on the TOEFL that you found really challenging? Um, I would say uh, I would go with the reading section because uh, because of the timing constraints. Uh, I'm not a heavy reader, so uh, again, I had to come up with a strategy, like how do I approach this section? How do I answer all of the questions in the time frame that was given to us? So again, um, going to the questions and then reading only that part of the uh, paragraph, uh, that helped me. And there were some of the questions like uh, where I have to summarize, summarize the uh, whole passage. So those took a little bit more time, so I skipped them in the beginning. Um, but yeah, that's how I practiced beforehand, that I knew that I had to face these things in the exam, and I was prepared for it in that way. Which task on the TOEFL was the easiest for you? Uh, I would say the speaking was the easiest. Uh, in the beginning, I felt that, um, uh, no, I, I will not be able to do that well in the speaking section, but it's really quick. So once you are accepted to the um, to the test, once you give the practice exams while you're, uh, while you're preparing for the social test, you understand that it doesn't take a lot of time like the other sessions. So um, it goes very quickly. You should just be attentive to what is being asked, listen carefully, and then yeah, you can you can do that. You can speak for a whole minute. How did you feel immediately after the TOEFL? Uh, <laughs> after the TOEFL, it was just a relief. Uh, I saw my uh, reading and uh, listening scores. So uh, the good thing was I was expecting that kind of score. So uh, when I got that score, I was really happy. Uh, but then I didn't, uh, I didn't express it because I knew that the doctor was still watching me. Uh, the, uh, the LED beside my webcam was still on. So then I had to complete uh, a survey from the proper you and then uh, after that I was really very happy with how it went, how the test was. And the one thing that I experienced with TOEFL is that even during the test you get to learn something new. So um, you get a lot of information, just be open to it and uh, just enjoy the experience. That's what I would say. In the end, you got an amazing TOEFL score. You can apply to your dream universities. That's really awesome. And I just want to thank you for this interview. Thank you for giving us an insight into what your TOEFL experience was like. And I wish you all the best for your applications and your studies. Thank you, Yua. I hope that um, a lot of people get the chance to study from your channel and that your channel grows. So like how it helped me, it should help a lot of other students as well. Thank you. Thank you so much, Vishal. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.